I'll give you stars and the moon and a soul to guide you on a promise I'll never go. I'll give you hope to bring out all the life inside you and the strength that will help you grow. I'll give you truth and a future that's 20 times better than any Hollywood plot. And I thought, you know, I'd rather have a yacht. Hilarious Tony nominee John Tartaglia is getting personal in the new show, Decade 3. We're here at 54 Below to go inside rehearsal. So, what are we in store for? Tell me about your show. Well, you know, Decade 3 is a different side of me. I think people have seen my silliness, they've seen my campiness, they know I do that, and it's certainly going to be a part of it, but, you know, I'm older now, I'm married, I'm, I'm 35, you know, I've gone through a lot of different things in my life and my career, and it's just kind of a... a, a a different side of me that I think people are used to in a good way, you know, and, and maybe some more serious stuff that maybe you're not used to and, and some new stuff. It sounds like we're going to get pretty personal with you. How does it work with the songs? How are they going to fit in? Well, I have this rule that if I do a, a, a cabaret show, I will never sing like that. And then my dad beat me song. Like, I hate that. So my feeling is like, I want people to come and have a good time. That's always my first rule. So it's really a lot of funny stories just kind of like you know because I've done puppetry because I've done Sesame Street because I've done Avenue Q because I've done Giant the Sprites I'm hosting a radio show I'm directing so it's kind of like all these different I feel like I have a lot of like did you guys know the story kind of things to share so I hope it'll be more some poignant things but also really fun stuff too how does what we heard fit in the stars and the moon uh I remember hearing it when I was like 18, when I first moved to New York City, and being like, what a beautiful song, and just going Shoo! Like I had no idea what it meant, I had no idea really what the story was. And then now as I'm older, and, and, and as someone who's married, who's very happily married, like it just has such a different meaning to me. And then, you know, Second Cousin, it was actually a song that Gary Adler, who, and Phoebe Kreutz, who worked on Avenue Q, wrote. And that's kind of like, you know, I feel like when you're young and you kind of are idealizing what, what your perfect romance will be, even though it's really twisted and wrong. I know she's my second cousin. We're not even that closely related. But she's only my second cousin. She's so much nicer than the girls I've dated. If we were British royalty, she'd be my perfect match, you'd see. And if you can't keep it in your pants, you keep it in the family. She's my cousin. matter to me. So are we going to get any Disney, any Avenue Q? Are we going to get those moments as well? Oh, absolutely. I can't, I can't give, I can't give an, anything away because it's, it's, I want it to be a surprise, but definitely some Avenue Q stuff, um, definitely some Disney stuff. I'm doing a song that gets requested a lot that I, I won't say what it is, but if you know me, you know I'm going to sing it. So what's the one thing we should know about spending a night with John Tartaglia? Um, I think you should know you'll have a great time. I mean, I, I, that is my, I am born to make people laugh and entertain. That's, that's what brings me the greatest joy in the world. So I want you to come in here and maybe, maybe you'll cry, maybe you'll laugh, maybe you'll, you'll have a great time, drink a lot. Um, but, but, but it'll be intimate, you know? I mean, it's a, it's a very naked, exposed kind of environment, which, which I think is, is a, it's a challenge, you know? So if I don't, if I don't pee in my pants, I'll be fine. Let's keep it in the family. You're my cousin, and it doesn't matter to me.